Ada for blowing up on my pregnant wife and putting my foot down after her blow up. Created the account because my wife has read it, but thinking I don't care she can find it. But the account is already created. We are renting a two-bedroom house from an older man. We'll call him G for this. I don't know how to really describe G, but older retired military is the closest. This man has been nothing but kind to us far more than either one of our parents have been. We live in California, and the average rent in our area is around 2600 for a two-bedroom. At first, we were a bit skeptical because the house was advertised, but G wanted to meet the tenants personally before anything else. The listing stated 2500 but was also stated negotiable. We met with G, and I don't know if he liked us or felt sorry, because we told him our story, but he offered us the place for 1600 Any problems we have ever had throughout the six years me and my wife have lived in the house was fixed within 48 hours. G is the landlord everyone wishes they had. He isn't money hungry, and if Rand is a bit late, he understands as long as you keep him informed. We haven't had an issue with him in six years. I have asked him why he is renting the house out to us so cheap, and his story broke my heart. He bought the house for his daughter a couple of years before we moved in, but unfortunately she and her fiancé died in a car crash, and he couldn't find the heart to sell it, but also doesn't just want it to stay empty. During COVID when my wife lost her job and I had to take a pay cut, I called him and told him about the situation. I asked if it was possible for us to perhaps pay a couple 100 less in rent, and then I will pay everything back once COVID stopped. He came over and talked to me and my wife. After two hours of talking, he said that he would forgive half our rent until the whole COVID thing is done, and then we could just go back to the original contract. I can't describe how happy I was. I thanked him with tears in my eyes. With the 700 saved on rent, we were able to keep our head above water during that crisis. Above it, the kind of man G is. My wife is currently five months pregnant. G had some health scares, so we haven't seen him for the last six months. He came over the day before yesterday to tell us he is healthy again and will again take up the care responsible, so if anything is needed to give him a call. He saw my wife and obviously the belly and asked how far along she was we told him and he just had this smile from ear to ear and say congratulations. Before he walked off he said kids are expensive, so as a baby gift from me, let's make the rent an even 1000 until the baby is born. I have an idea why, but for some reason this set my wife off completely. She started yelling a G calling him an old man that is looking down on us and that he can take his useless gift and shove it up his ass. She was yelling for like three minutes and every time I tried to stop her, she would just get loader and loader. I don't know what got into my wife, but at the end of her rant, she said, if you really want to gift us something for our baby, you should not let us pay rent at all, you stupid fucking old man. That is what you call a gift. G took everything she said and didn't say a word back his face, just went from happy to completely emotionless. After my wife was done, he just left. I blew up on my wife and asked her what the fuck she was thinking as G never did anything wrong to us. She just started to cry and refused to talk to me the rest of the night. Every time I brought it up, she would start crying, but I caught on to the crocodile tears and told her to just stop because I want an explanation. Yesterday morning before I left for work, I told her she better be ready, because ready or not when I got home we will talk about what happened, and I will not accept her fake tears. I got a text from G telling me we have to talk. He asked to meet at the house at 5, and I agreed. We met up at the house, and he asked to come in. We sat in the living room, and he asked if my wife could join us, and she did. He didn't ask why. What happened? Nothing. All he did was lay out what will be happening going forward. He said the gift will no longer be happening and he will expect the full rent at the end of the month, no excuses. He said the rent will stay 1600 until our lease is up for renewal, which is ending in this year. And when the lease is over, we are more than welcome to renew, then he will be charging us market rate for the house. That is more than a 1000 increase. I tried to talk to him, but he refused to listen and then just walked out of the house. My wife was white as a ghost in the coach and stammered, what are we going to do? Because she knows an 1,000 increase in the rent will lead us back to living on paycheck to paycheck. My paycheck is enough to cover literally every single bill until my promotion in 14 months. I blew up and told her this shit is her doing. She asked me to run after G and talk or to call him and try and talk to him. But G is refusing the only message I got back was please contact me if it has something to do with the house not for any personal matters as our relationship will only be strictly landlord and tenant that is it. My wife is frantically trying to call G and apologize 
but he isn't on during her calls. She knows her part-time job paycheck might not be enough, and I told her we will need to downsize. She is not happy. I'm not happy with my wife at all, and she is calling me an asshole because I'm mad at her. 1000 doesn't sound like a lot for some, but for me it is a lot of money. My wife paycheck would not have been touched for rent or anything, but now it has to as I told her she will cover the 1000 if she want to stay in this house, as I refuses to take up longer hours or more shifts. She is devastated because her part-time job salary might not be enough, and she will have to go back to full-time work. Sorry if my post is all over the place. I'm tired and my emotions aren't at the right place currently, as I'm stressing about things that hasn't even crossed my mind before and things I haven't had to stress over. The situations sound rough, I know, but like I said above, I am up for a promotion at work for my manager's job when he retires in 14 months. I am assured the job and have it in writing. The increase is enough for my wife to only do part-time work, but that will only be in 14 months, and she has to cover the missing 1000 for the rent, as in refusing. I don't want to move, but if she doesn't cover the missing 1000 or can't, we will have to. Edit. I have asked my wife IG has done something or said something to her that caused her reaction to him wanting to give as a gift, and she in tears told me no, but can't or won't give me a reason. To me in my mind, I took what she said at face value, and I believe that she thinks G was looking Don on us as she said when he made the offer. That 500 would have helped monumentally, and my wife know that. She also knows getting a house like we currently have and as good as we have it in the house is not a guarantee, because we have read numerous stories on Reddit about other landlord, and she herself has always expected how lucky we have been. Edit 2. I worded it like shit in my post, sorry. Our lease is up for renewal. But our lease will basically be cancelled and not renewed. We will basically have to reapply for the lease and the new amount will be market rate. He said for the fact that we have been good tenants AO far, he will give us first option to the house. Edit 3 because it keeps coming up. I actually forgot how far Reddit can go with things. I know this sounds shitty of me, but I am more sure that G hasn't slept with my wife than I am my wife has never cheated on me. Myself, including I have never met a man more set on morals and principles. He still wears his wedding ring, even though his wife has been dead for more than 10 years. When I asked him about a woman or girlfriend in his life, he said no. His wife is waiting for him, and he will not disappoint her. These are the opinions of some subscribers. Ravenclaw, NTA, but your wife definitely is. G sounds like a sweet, lonely old man who has been nothing but kind to your family. Without providing a valid reason, your wife's outburst is completely unjustified and I can understand why G is no longer interested in a personal relationship and helping you out. After that, he is in his right to be strictly your landlord and nothing more. I think you are being fair in what you are saying to your wife. If she wants to stay, she needs to find a way to cover that $1,000 difference before you get that promotion. Otherwise, you will need to move and downsize. But with a baby on the way, Maybe the best choice is to downsize so you're not living paycheck to paycheck. Raising a kid is not cheap, and you need to put that into the equation. Snoo opinions. So let me see if I understand. G saw a young couple with a baby on the way that perhaps reminded him of his lost daughter and her husband and all her lost future and thought to himself, they seem like a nice couple and I'll cut them a break because California rent is insanely high and they could use the extra cash for baby things. And your wife thought the appropriate response was to cuss him out and accuse him of treating you like you're poor? I would think twice before I let her near anybody ever again. OP is NTA, but his wife certainly is. Caspian, and oh, she fucked up plain and simple. Pregnant or not, she should have kept her damn mouth shut. I've had two babies, I know full well how pregnancy hormones are, but she had no call or reason to rip him a new one, even if she thought he really was looking down on you guys. From all it looks like here, due to the death of his daughter, you two were like his surrogate kids and he was just being a nice guy to help out in hard days like we're all living in now. Sorry she put you in this situation. You have every right to be angry with her. She has no right to call you the asshole when she's the one that flipped out for no reason and now is costing you guys thousands of dollars. All because she couldn't keep her mouth shut. If she really felt that way about him, reducing your rent, she should have saved it for just you to vent and you could have set her straight. No ideas about the renting laws in Cali. But I'm in the Toronto area, and the cost of rent is astronomical here too. Top spite. NTA. And WDF?
Your wife has some issues you don't know of. You gotta get to the bottom of this. She single-handedly put you in a bad place apart from treating a person who was more than nice and understanding to you all the time like shit. Your wife might have go to therapy for that. This is not normal. For goodness sake. WTF is wrong with her? For how deep she put you in the shit, she has to give you some sort of explanation. She owes you that. If she still refuses, I see some more trouble ahead in your marriage. No person in their right mind goes off like that for no reason. Even if she felt disrespected by G, for whatever insane reason, considering the financial situation you guys are in, she should have kept quiet, have talked to you, and maybe turned down G's offer. But this? Absolutely insanity. Gundog. First of all, GTFO of California. You can't afford to live there. Second of all, she's the major AH and she just upgraded herself to 50-50 bill split and is responsible for the four years of daycare until public pre-K is available so she can work full-time. If she don't like that, then she can be a single mom with 50-50 custody. She created a crisis that impacts you both and undermines every effort you've made to create a life for your family. It is her responsibility to mitigate it and that five-minute outburst just cost her four years of busting ass with no reward to show for it other than helping to keep her own ass afloat. She turned herself from a partner to a liability, and as a partner, she now has to sacrifice to fix it. It's not punishment. It's her doing her part for the problem she created. Glad you am. Man, this is such a heartbreaking situation. It sounds like G has been an absolute blessing for you both, especially during tough times. What your wife did was completely out of line and it's understandable why you're upset. I can't imagine how devastating it must have been to see someone who's been so kind to you, essentially as a father figure, treated that way. It's crucial that you and your wife have a serious talk about what triggered her reaction. There might be something deeper going on, whether it's stress from the pregnancy, fears about the future, or something else entirely. But regardless, she needs to take responsibility and figure out a way to make this right. She didn't deserve any of that. And it sounds like it's going to take a lot to even begin mending that relationship, if it's even possible. I'm glad you're standing firm on your stance about the rent increase. It's a consequence of her actions, and she should contribute to fixing the mess she's created. Maybe she can work full-time for a while, or find some other way to help cover the costs. You've been a great tenant, and a good man for appreciating G's kindness over the years. I really hope your wife realizes how much she's risking here and makes an effort to change. Keep us updated, and stay strong through all this. You're doing the right thing by not letting this slide without addressing it head on. My sock is missing. Reading this made my heart break for that man. I get intrusive thoughts sometimes when my favorite people do the most amazing, lovely things for me. My intrusive thoughts make me run through the most awful, heartbreaking things possible that could come out of my mouth and my mind. I'm forced to think those thoughts in my head, and it tears me up inside, imagining the outcomes of these thoughts ever escaping the screwed-up landscape that exists between my ears. Reading this makes me feel like your wife basically let those intrusive thoughts out. If this is the only incident like it, I can't give any ideas or suggestions. But if this becomes a pattern, I do somewhat wonder if there is some sort of mental illness happening, perhaps triggered by pregnancy hormones? Intrusive thoughts are a common symptom of many devastating mental illnesses. If your wife doesn't feel like she can talk to you about what triggered this, perhaps a licensed therapist could dig deeper? You are NTA. OP. This is so extreme and nightmarishly resonating with the worst of my own intrusive thoughts that I can't even say for certain that your wife is TA. But reading this made my own blood run cold because this is literally my biggest fear unlocked my intrusive thoughts escaping my head.